Hey guys, this is T Dono, and I'm bringing you my Anime Expo 2019 loot haul today. Um, as you can see from this layout, I got a crap ton of art. Um, this year, I kind of went all out on art, and uh, yeah, I kind of had to lay it all over my bed because uh, I didn't really have any room on my table or any table. I didn't have any table available to lay all this stuff out, so you know, I'm just lay on my bed and then show you guys what I got. So might be one of those long loot haul videos so let's let's just let's just start with the small stuff first so uh you can see this faku uh mask that i got you actually get it if you go into the faku booth and you buy uh like books and whatnot and you get it free with whatever purchase you buy or it might be it might be uh, a limit because i think you just spend 50 bucks or more you get a tote bag and i got that tote bag as well but you know I, I don't know, nothing really special, but yeah, you get this for free as well if you spend a certain amount of money. You know, it kind of looks funny because it's kind of covering her this girl's chest area, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so let's start with charms. First up, we got my Sakajima. These charms I found in the artist alley. They're very, very cute. Um, this is front and back. I haven't really opened them yet because uh, I'm planning on getting a new backpack soon, and these will be a part of my backpack collection. So. That's my Sakurajima. And then we got Best Girl C from My Hero Academia right here. Look at her, she's so cute. Look at this girl. Next up we have Philo from um, Hero Rising Shield Hero. Both sides. She's just in here in a little lolly form. Uh, I think I have a Ralph Talia somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Oh, here it is. It was hiding underneath the poster. Here's Ralph Talia. cute right next up we have kda Kali. so here's her in her normal form and then here's her in her um smoked form or her neon form whatever form you want to call it very popular very popular character from league of legends even though a lot of people don't play league of legends she's a very popular character uh next up we got some official atlas charms so this is jack frost is it jack frost uh you know you guys know what this is i don't remember his name exactly Got the frost, and we got the black one too. Now I bought these two, uh, you know, from the Atlas booth itself, so they weren't part of it or anything. They were pretty cheap, like ten bucks, I think. And um, when I was at the Atlas booth, I decided to buy the mouse pad as well. So here's the mouse pad. We were on my K-pop channel. You've already seen this. I used it when I was in New Jersey to watch twice. So this is a pretty cool mouse pad. I keep it in the in the wraps, in the wraps per se. Um, so yeah, let's move on the charm side because it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fan art, guys. A lot of fan art. I, I went, I went pretty crazy with art. You know, I told myself I wasn't going to, but there's just so many good artists that I had me expose here. You know, and I just couldn't control myself. So this first, first print right here is a metallic uh, KDA poster that I brought. Um, as you can see, it's uh, by Miho dot art. Miho, is that Miho? Yes, Miho. She actually had to send this to me through mail because she ran out of the metallic prints at the con, I think, or she didn't have any, I don't remember, but she was uh, very nice and um, very cool. So, great post. It's metallic, so if you move it, you can see it's very, very stylish and very shiny. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool, sir. So, let's move this out the way. Of course, it came rolled up, so it's easy to roll. Um, this particular artist right here had... Uh, had like a, a just a stand filled with backgrounds from certain like series like iconic backgrounds you can see this is sector 5 the church from final fantasy 7 you can see cloud and tifa right there so i actually like bought maybe three pieces from this guy i don't remember if his name is on here or not i don't think so no his name is not on here but it's uh it's pretty pretty cool pretty cool artwork he didn't give me a bag because he ran out of bags, but yeah, I wish I knew who this artist was. Maybe I'll run, him, run, to, run into him again in the future. So let's move that aside. We have the Keyblades from the Keyblade Wars, or the, the Keyblade Graveyard. Keyblade Graveyard, Kingdom Hearts. Alright, moving on. It's the final background piece that I bought from him. This is um, Joker. AKA main protagonist from Persona 5. This is it's in uh, his house or his cafe, his home base. Attention to detail is pretty good. So, yep, those are the three backgrounds that I bought. You can also buy um, 
uh, several other backgrounds like the uh, spaceship from Cowboy Bebop. I remember seeing. There's also Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Z time capsule. Uh, several, several other backgrounds that are iconic in anime and video games. So, if you see him at cons, you should uh, follow him. Yeah. So, let's move on. Let's move this aside. Oh man, so much already. Crap. I can feel the pressure. Um, what's your thing right here? So in this pile, uh, I bought a particular amount of fan art from this guy. Like it was closing down, and he he hooked me up. Buy two, get one free. So shoutouts to him. Uh, he he signed it too. I can't really read his name, but you know, shoutouts to him. Anime Expo 2019. So this is Faye from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Of course, we got another another poster of the KDA. As as you guys know, I play League of Legends a lot, and KDA is uh, really popping. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Next, we have uh, Cloud and Tifa. Uh, before, I didn't really have much Final Fantasy VII merch because uh, uh, it's sad to admit I didn't play the original game. I didn't have a PlayStation One growing up, and uh, now that I have the chance to play the remake that's coming out soon, I had to buy some FF7 merch. I mean, I always knew who Cloud and Tifa were through other games like Kingdom Hearts and Dissidia and whatnot, but. You know, I, I haven't really had the uh, original experience of playing Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation 1. But I'm excited for this remake, and this looks absolutely stunning, so can't wait to try it out. Same artist, by the way. Next up, we have Alita from Alita Battle Angel. If you guys have not seen the movie, I urge you to see the movie by the Blu-ray. It's a fantastic, fantastic movie. Such a great movie. The only movie that Hollywood has done right so far, surprisingly. Like, in terms of adapting anime and manga, Alita is the only one they've done right so far. It's all thanks to James Cameron, the director Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, and, and the spectacular performance by the by the main actress Rosa Rosa Salazar. Am I saying her name correctly? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a perfect, perfect... Well, not perfect, but it's a great adaptation of uh, Alita. If you read the manga, the manga is great, too. <clears throat> Moving on, we have uh, again see you from um, My Hero Academia. Same artist. Okay. I think this is the last one that I bought from him. Um, so this is Ada Wong from uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Or Resident Evil 2, whichever one you want to <laughs> you want to associate with. All right. Moving on to the next pause. So I kind of separated everything by uh, clear files. So I can remember which artist is which or which collection. All right, so here in this particular poster we have Kaguya-sama. This is a fantastic anime. If you guys haven't seen it, I urge you to watch it. It's a it's a very fun anime. It's a lot of bantering and all of uh, a lot of shenanigans. So this is the main character Kaguya. She's one of the main characters. Here you can see Chika, and I think this is Chika's younger sister. Can't recall who this is. Or uh, the president's younger sister. I don't remember. Uh, don't remember that character very well. Sorry. Next up, we have see you again. You see, you guys can see that you know see you's best girl, man. I think see you's best girl. That's why I have a lot, a lot of fan art of see you. So here she is with another frog. High five. Yes, yes. Okay. Moving on. Konosuba, Megumin. Megaman is probably the most funniest character on that show. Actually, no, Aqua is, but I, I just found this this particular fan art very cute, and I had to buy it. So, yeah, Megu, you think that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's the last. That's the last of it. So uh, let's move on to the next pile. Gonna move everything out of the way. I know, I know, it's a pain in the ass. Give me like a few seconds to sort everything out. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I don't know, this is gonna be a primarily fan art driven uh, video. I'll probably do the autographs at the end. Uh, I'll probably put a timestamp in there for you guys who's, who's interested in the autographs and whatnot. So uh, for this particular poster, it's also Kaguya-sama again. So here's the president, and of course Kaguya-sama herself. And uh, you see, he has a letter behind him. He's trying very hard not to confess there. The, the, the series is really fun to watch. You just have to watch it. I can't really explain it. It's just, just hilarious banter and comedic, com comedy. Just, just comedy. All right. Next up, Rise of the uh, Shield Hero again. Rough Talia right here represent. Very, very awesome. This is probably one of the better animes I've seen this season. Surprisingly, yeah. 
in terms of shonen and the isekai, this is a really good anime. Ma Takujima, of course, got to have the senpai here. She's uh, she's best girl, best girl, best girl. And I think that's it for the pile. Okay, that's it. All right, so so so, so we're, 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 we're going through this collection really quick, guys. We're going through this collection real quick. Let me move the backgrounds real quick. All right, so I had to cut out that last part of the video because uh, my my uh, Dakamakura back there is it's naked, and I'm not really allowed to show it on YouTube. Uh, so I'm starting over again. Here is the uh, bag for the or this is a tote bag I bought from the uh, Kadokawa booth. You get uh, this is the Isai Isaikai uh, characters, so it comes with Konosuba characters, Overlord, uh, and Lake Rezero. Or this could be, this could be straight Overlord. I, I don't remember. I, I'll have to open it and check. But if I do find a picture, I'll show you guys. All right. So next pile. Now this particular artist I just saw again at Otakon. Uh, he's actually from Canada. He's he's from Toronto, character uh, Toronto, Canada. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing the country's name. Uh, don't don't hate me, uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the doctor from Persona Five. He has actually two versions of this. This is the first version where I bought at Anime Expo. The second version I bought at Otakon. Uh, so you know, uh, maybe I'll show that my Otakon loot haul video if I decide to make one. So here is the best doctor from Persona Five. Of course, this is turned around. Let me turn it around for you guys. Uh, this is Two B from Near Automata or Automata. How we pronounce that word? Very, very, very stylish. And next one is Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, this is a really badass baby over here. Mm, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with her. She's a badass. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. Let's get this goop right here. Put on top. Okay. My Sakurajima again. Um, this particular artist I found at Otakon once again. So. You'll see some more art from this particular person. Don't have the name. I'm sorry. Oh, but you're not a right here. Lucid Sky. Lucid Sky. Okay, there you go. Lucid Sky is the artist. He he or she came to um, Otakon as well, so I got more art from them. Macho Kojima. We have another uh, Rising Shield hero. Like I said, one of the better animes of the past season or two. Pretty pretty good anime. Pretty good Isekai, actually. It's very, very good Isekai. See you again, very similar to the series you saw earlier in the video, but this is kind of like a different artist style, I guess. More cartoonish, I guess. I, I can't really <laughs> find the word for it. But look, it's cute. She's cute as fuck. Of course, more see you. Looking, uh, looking, looking kind of naughty right there, you know what I mean? Next up, we have... Lukina or Lucina. From Fire Emblem Awakening. Speaking of Fire Emblem, couldn't find any new Fire Emblem merch for the three houses, so uh, you know I gotta, I gotta do best with uh, what's what's available. I think this one she's like she is ripped up, so this is, is kind of naughty. All right, and we have Nessa, the new Pokemon trainer from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I only got this because I like the way she looks. I'm not really gonna play Pokemon. I'm not really a huge Pokemon fan, but I just like the way she looks, so I bought some fan art for her. She, she, she's looking mighty, mighty fine, guys. This is this is a perfect example of a, of a dark girl who's, who's right in all the right areas. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, okay, let's move on. I think I have some more art, and then we're almost there at the autographs. So I'm making sure everything stacked up the way it was. I kind of have a system going on. All right, all right. Here's this. This is another Rising Shield Hero art, of course. You can see a, a theme of this, a theme of the Shield Hero. <laughs> this is this is this is funny. This is really funny. Okay, <laughs> this 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 particular art pin is one of my favorites. This is uh, One Punch Man, Saitama, and Genos. They're imitating that famous uh, painting. I can't remember the name of it, but everyone knows this painting. It's, it's it's a very classical piece of art in in world history. So they're imitating it. So it looks really funny. <laughs> Alright, moving on. My Hero Academia. Surprised I didn't really buy much uh, group shots of the uh, kids from My Hero Academia. See, it's All Might in the back with uh, Midnight. Of course, all the kids here. Everyone looks so happy and friendly. And I think that's it for that pile. Okay, okay, that's it for that pile. Uh, I think I have 
maybe another power two, then that's it. Let me move this out the way. Boom. Okay. Move this Faku out the way. All right. Now these are the uh, the special ones. Okay. These are kind of like special quotation mark special fan art because they're metallic. This one's not metallic. This is Nessa again, by the way, by from Pokemon. This is not uh, in any way by being metallic, but it's still a very nice fan art. Looks really nice here. Um, but these, this particular one right here, look at this. Monosuke Jima Metallic. I had to buy this as soon as I saw it. There's uh, the artist's name, by the way. But uh, yeah, this is particularly very, very good. Next up, I forgot who else I bought. Let me see if I can move it. Rolf Talia again. Best raccoon girl. Mm. All right. Ooh, I like the background. Is that Philo? Philo! I didn't notice that before. You can see Philo in the background. And of course, Kaguya and Chika from Kaguya-sama Love is War. You guys gotta watch this anime, man. It's very, very funny. Very good. Um, but yeah, those are the special metallic posters that I bought from that particular vendor. Okay, now this is the final set of art. I'm, I'm positive this is the final set. So this right here, we have the KDA ladies again, in the, in the kind of like uh, Western cartoonist style. Uh, I won't say Western, but in the cartoonist style. Ruby, like Ruby, I guess, if Ruby was made this cartoon. As close as I can think of. <laughs> but yeah, Ruby. Oh, KDA, not Ruby. And um, this particular fan art right here is of the new girl from Persona 5 Royal. Kasumi, I think it's her name. I might be wrong, but uh, this is the, let's just say new girl from Persona 5 Royal. What's interesting about this particular piece is that it's gold. You can see it kind of shine back at you. You uh, like move it at a certain angle. So I, I had to pick this up immediately. Great piece. And plus, she might be best girl after Persona 5 Royal. Who knows? I doubt it, but who knows? Who knows? All right. This particular set is a Kingdom Hearts set. Um, I was inspired by it after seeing it in person. Um, let me try to lay it out for you guys. I do all this stuff. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. I think I got it. So we start from the left. You will see Kairi in her various uh, forms from one, two, and three. So Kairi. Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, and Kingdom Hearts 3. And as you can see, One wor World is on, on top of the uh, poster. And right here, you'll see Sora from this past three previous games. Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. They're all kind of in the same setting, like a uh, water-ish, beaches looking setting. And on top of it's One Sky. Over here, you see Riku with his Keyblades, or different Keyblades, I guess. You see One, Two, and three and if you look at it all together it's and that's why I got it because <laughs> it looks like that it's, it's great all right so all the artworks done and we're gonna move on to the important juicy stuff the stuff that I suffered for the stuff that I waited in line for the autographs so uh, I think I'm gonna clean up everything first and then I'll show you guys what they look like or what I got from the autograph sessions. All right, guys. So almost done. Now these are the um, the uh, the stuff that I suffered in line for. Uh, the autographs that I've been talking about most of my uh, con. If you've seen my con vlog. So yeah, let's begin. Um, uh, with side note, I forgot to show you Kana. I forgot I actually had her, but she was hiding in one of the piles. But Kana and Pikachu, right here. So they're looking really cute. And of course, I got Tifa as well. All right, so let's begin with the first autograph. Uh, I got right here, Hedy, who voice acts uh, who voice acts Yuna in the English dub of uh, Final Fantasy X. She was like one of the first actresses I met during the weekend, and I was I was like really happy because you know she she's part of my childhood. Uh, you know, I grew up playing Final Fantasy X. And it was one of the, one one of the games I replayed often and. I really enjoyed her uh, voice in Final Fantasy X and X too. So it was it was it was a dream to meet her. Very very nice. She's very nice, sweet, talks a lot, and very bright. So I hope I hope we can see her again sometime soon. So yeah, Yuna. 
Next up, we have one of my favorite autographs of this um, convention. Uh, this is Stephanie Panacillo, uh, otherwise known as Claire Redfield from Resident Evil 2 Remake. I actually met her again at Otakon and got her to sign something else, but uh, I met her first at Anime Expo and she actually remembered me at Otakon. So shout out to Stephanie, very cool voice actress. Um, this is one of her like first big roles, Claire Redfield. It's, it's a great, she, she does a very great job uh, as Claire Redfield in Resident Evil 2, so very excited to, got, uh, to get her autograph. You know, when we were when I was in the line, I was talking to her. She's like, uh, "We should put a quote." I'm like, "Yeah, we should." <laughs> She's she asked me what's the first thing you remember, and I was like, uh, "You know, something, something, fucker." You know, there's something along the lines like, "I'll get you, fucker." So she wrote it down along. Um, she she wrote it down on the uh, case, so it was very nice for. Her. Of course, there's autograph. So, yep, met her again for the second time at Otacon, and it was a great experience. So, yep, Stephanie. All right, so the first. The real first autograph that I got at AX was uh, this particular Skishi board right here. Now this one is uh, from the Fire Force creator himself. Uh, he created Soul Eater. If anyone's seen Soul Eater, this is uh, his new series, his new manga series and anime series that he's working on right now. Um, this is Shinra from Fire Force. Now this is uh, I got this on day one of Anime Expo. Surprisingly. Um, it was, it was, it was, it should have been hard to get, but I got lucky. I got really lucky. So yeah, if you got a ticket from Funimation, you'll be getting one of these Skishi boards. Very cool. You know, it, it's shiny and it looks nice. And uh, yeah, I'm watching Fire Force right now too, by the way. It's pretty, pretty decent so far. So, first Skishi board, Fire Force, done. Alright, um, second one. I got Don Machi. Well, actually, yeah. Here's the Don Machi uh, Shikishi board that I fought, you know, for. This is this one. This is probably one of the harder autographs that I got during the uh, convention. Uh, this particular is the creator of Don Machi, Fujino Mori. This is uh, this is it's a pretty great illustration board. But yeah, yeah I had to fight for this uh, particular Shikishi board. If you watch my con vlog, you you hear me talk about it a lot. But yeah, pretty pretty cool Shikishi board. Next up, we have. Uh, Konosuba. So this one I got pretty easily. Uh, you had to sign up for this particular autograph session. Um, on this particular board, you have the producer, uh, the character designer, and I think one of the writers of the show on this uh, particular Shikishi board. So they all, you know, wrote their autographs on here. It was, it was, it was very nice. This this I got pretty easily. I just signed up for it uh, like three o'clock in the morning. All the tickets sold out in like 20 seconds, so I, I was one of the very lucky few that got this Konosuba Shishi board. So this is uh, one of my one of my prized possessions right now, Konosuba. All right, next up we have uh, Sayuri from uh, Neko Peta. She didn't really sketch anything; she just uh, drew on this uh, sketchboard, like a very short cat. <laughs> so. Uh, this is uh, this is Sagali, the creator of Nekopera. If you don't know what Nekopera is, it is an Arage, first and foremost. Don't get it twisted. I, I know y'all think it's a cute, it's just a cute cat girl game, but originally it was an adult Arage, like a, 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 a hentai game initially. FYI. So yeah, I, yeah, she, 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 yeah, she, she wasn't what I expected, but you know, she's cool. She, she gave me her autograph, and this is it. So you see Sayori, that's her autograph, and then she drew like a little cat. So, um, yeah. Um, not an autograph, but uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, Adorn Exhibition Hall, I, I entered a raffle and I won this uh, particular poster set. It has like most of the characters on it. Six posters, you can see them in addition. Sentai Filmworks, I didn't open it yet, so. It has, uh, I think, Bell, Estea, of course, uh, Ice, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, Crozo, and uh, I forgot who else the other two were, but. Yeah, I won that in a raffle. I was like, cool, cool. <laughs> and last but not least, here's the last autograph that I got. Surprisingly, this was a surprise guest, um, M Flow. I wasn't really expecting to get an autograph from M Flow at this convention. Uh, I went by Funimation. We there were rumors that you know My Hero Academia creator was going to be there. Like we heard about like the My Hero Academia creator, but. We got uh, M Flow instead. If you don't know who M Flow is, they are a Japanese trio uh, musicians, hip hop, R and B, all sorts of music uh, genres. They've been in the game for a very long time. Uh, so they, they, they were at Anime Expo promoting this particular film, uh, Human Lost. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, to be honest. 
and I, I just I just I just jumped on the opportunity to get a uh, autograph by M4. Like I got I got it just randomly surprised. Like no one was really asking for it. So they just gave it to us. Uh, so M4. Pretty cool, pretty cool set of guys. All through and speak English very fluently. So pretty cool. Alright, and that's about it. Uh I saw my loot haul. You know, I, I applaud you if you sat through this really long, long, long video. Um, I got like a crap ton of fan art. And, uh, you know, a few autographs that was worth the suffering and the pain. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath just talking. Uh, there, there's so much going on in this video. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this anime uh, expo loot haul. And I think I will do an Otakon loot haul maybe in a week or two, depending on how I feel, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I have been really, uh, I don't really have a schedule right now on YouTube, but you know, I'm trying to get one, one video out every week. But uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like on it, comment, let me know what you think, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.